Well, in Dallas County, Judge Clay Jenkins issued a stay-at-home order yesterday that will take effect at midnight tonight. He pointed to some pretty alarming numbers. Today, our I team started digging into those numbers, taking a hard look. Where do they come from? How accurate are they? Investigative reporter Brian New tonight joining us from Plano with what he has uncovered. According to those numbers that Clay Jenkins used yesterday, at our current social distancing measures, Texas hospitals will be overloaded by April 28th, and more than 430,000 Texans will die from this virus. Experts say these projections are far from perfect, but right now, they may be the best we have. Statewide. It's the graph it's Dallas County place. Judge Clay Jenkins pointed to is why he believes sheltering place is needed. A closer look at the curve reveals a troubling picture of overloaded hospitals and death tolls in the hundreds of thousands in Texas alone. But where are these projections coming from? Dallas County pulled this chart from a website called COVIDactnow.org. It's a website started by a team of data scientists, engineers, and epidemiologists. The site has made all of the raw data and calculations public because they knew some might be skeptical. The creators also admit their models are not perfect. Right now, we are completely from a uh, medical, you know, profession in the dark. Harry Glorikin is a renowned health data expert. He says the problem with any of these projections is right now they're based on incomplete data. He says so few people have been tested that no one knows just how many people in the U.S. actually have the virus. If you don't have the data, it's, it's, it's very hard to make a projection. This lack of data has led to a wide range of projections, but Glorikin said why the numbers may vary, nearly all are pointing in the same direction. Every projection that I've seen so far, high, low, medium, is going to outstrip the number of beds that we have available in the United States. Either way, we're not in great shape. So on our website, cbsdfw.com, we have posted a link to the COVID Act Now website where you, in much greater detail, can read about how they've come up with their projections. With the I-Team, Brian New, CBS 11 News.